Sound pollution seems to have become a major concern in the city with people advertently using the vehicle horns. The RTO has come up with a solution to tackle this. Shops selling car accessories on JC Road were in for a shocker today as RTO officials conducted a surprise check. The raid was to check and seize automobile horns which do not confirm to the RTI norms. After numerous complaints regarding high decibel horns being used on vehicles, the RTO authorities were forced to take up the raid and check all the varieties of automobile horns available in these shops. Taking note of the increasing levels of noise pollution in the city, the authorities have warned troublemongers that soon they will be conducting check on the road and levying heavy fine on those found using such shrill automobile horns. <laughs> As per the Indian Motor Act, the ceiling for automobile horns is 82 decibel and anything about this is considered harmful to the human ear. RTO authorities during the raid found automobile horns that produce noise up to 100 to 120 decibels. Vehicles found to be using such horns are being fined heavily and the traffic police have collected more than 9 lakh rupees through fines in the month of April alone. While the RTO officials feel that heavy fines will bring things under control, the shop owners feel that the manufacturers need to be targeted and not the retailers. As per the rule, they are right. Behind that, many things has to be seen. When the vehicle was, uh, came to the market, from that day, this is the first time I'm seeing that uh, noise pollution people are coming. So my suggestion to them, to the department, is that first they make the awareness among the dealers. And secondly, who is the manufacturer? Directly approach them. Ask them to stop this one. Once it is not available in the market, why the dealer will sell? And secondly, dealer can't make out what the uh, sound is. Well, they don't have the meter, they don't have the technological knowledge. In all, a new battle has begun, but the common man just hopes that in the end, the menace is curbed and travelling on the roads becomes a much quieter affair. Maltesh for News 9, Bengaluru. An auto driver in Number City has vowed to help residents of his area by taking civic issues and trying to find solutions. Interestingly, he has a unique way of getting things done. Take a look. Meet Munilinga, a resident of Tyagaraj Nagar Second Cross. He's an auto driver by profession, but mind you, he's not an ordinary auto driver like the ones we come across every day. Munilinga is different not only from the other auto drivers, but also compared to citizens like us. He's a man who has taken an oath to solve civic issues in the area. Tyagaraj Nagar had issues pertaining to drainage and supply of drinking water, and Muniraju has taken up the fight. He wrote several letters to the officials of BBMP and BWSSB and brought these issues to the notice of the area corporator. But nothing worked for him. Neither the officials nor the corporator paid a heed to his complaints. But he was not the one to sit quiet and give up the fight. He thought of an idea and began working towards it immediately and religiously. His idea was to record drainage and other issues in the area and make a video of the same. Later CDs of the recordings were sent to BBMP commissioner and water board officials. The moment senior officials saw the video footages, they directed the staff to fix issues at the earliest. But the workers did only half the job. They removed damaged pipes and installed new ones. But once the works were done, they did not close the dug up areas, which is causing huge inconvenience to the residents of the area. Egan Kilsa and the slow Ito, so everything will make the Kilsa complete Madia. Egan and the Bega or our now mayor and elder, Emele or Supermanerola, you were the Billa Ligente, subcontract Kudiro, Elantiri. You were Billa Lenante, you were at Jeliaki, he patchwork Marco de Conta. He patchwork your Marco Tre, non full Tarak Tinenta. Already Akadet Bundu, sanitary Bundu, our thing like there. Aki there a chamber site Madilla. Chamber site Madilla, chamber silver Kilsa. The residents are happy that officials paid a visit to the area and fixed the issues following his efforts. But the dug up area and cutting of the road has irked them. They want the road to be as assaulted soon. Earlier sewage used to gush onto the roads and at times into houses also. 
but installation of new pipes has put an end to such issues. Since rainy season is around the corner, they want work to be done before the skies over Bengaluru begin to pour. Munilinga is on a new mission now. He's after the officials again. He said that he would not rest until the road is laid and has a fault. Well, one has to wait and watch what method he would apply to get the job done since he's taking on the officials this time. Shubha Jojiga for News 9, Bengaluru. People were left in awe looking at the hatchlings, but none dared to pet them. Wondering why? Take a look. While some were watching the entire affair in awe, others were just scared to be anywhere around the place where this was happening. It was no ordinary birthing. What you see here are tiny cobras emerging out of their shells. These scenes were witnessed at the house of Kiran, a BBMP Environment Department volunteer who resides in RPC layout. In all, Kiran's house was blessed with 36 of these tiny slithery creatures. Kiran, who has had these eggs for the last two months, is thrilled and says that it's no ordinary affair to witness the hatching of 36 cobras at once. So now Satatva Gugulna Nama Ili Dakshina Kacheri in Vijayanagara surrounding Nam the Indakshina Kacheri there, Bengalur uh Mana BBMP Aranya Kataka, Ivara Vatinda Navu Martha on the volunteers and Navala in the rescue part of the Vaglur Tabe. The eggs were kept safely in a bucket so that proper temperature could be maintained. It is very essential for the temperature to be controlled since a slight variation can result in death before hatching. Since the hatchlings have a higher level of poison, it is very important to monitor them and release them at the same place where the eggs were found. Releasing them anywhere else would spell disaster for them. See, in that basically, it's not like we are going to rescue them. We are going to take care of them. We are not going to take care of them. We are 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 going to take care of them. Herpetologists are thrilled at the birthing since it gives them scope to study these tiny creatures from close quarters. While most would have tried to get rid of them, Kiran's mission to save these eggs and see them hatch is definitely commendable. Pramod for News 9, Bengaluru. The World 10K Marathon is all set to hit the streets on Sunday morning and athletes have already started warm warming up. And guess who we saw warming up with Namma Bengalurians? None other than track and field legend Carl Lewis, nine-time Olympic gold winner. Carl Lewis is in, is in Bengaluru to take part in the World 10K Marathon along with over 20,000 Bengalurians and international athletes. And we saw Carl today at 7 a.m. in his relaxed best at the Kantirva Stadium, giving tips and tricks to Bangalore athletes.